I've always wanted to dance in the subway. Not a lot of people have the balls, but it's so worth it. Soy Andina, de Yamellín, un pueblo tan chiquitito que hasta hace 50 años ni siquiera aparecía en el mapa. I've been living in New York for about 18 years. And almost every year I go back to Yamellín. But this year is very special. I'm going back to be the host of the Fiesta Patronal, a dream I had since I was a little girl. When I told my father, he was really concerned. I remember what he said. ¿Vas a poder hacerlo? Ese es un compromiso muy complicado, y tú ya no vives en Yamellín hace mucho tiempo. To be the host, you have to offer yourself. I made a phone call to Yamellin and I said, yo quisiera ser la alfereza del próximo año. And once the commitment is made, there is no way to go back. My name is Cynthia Paniagua. I was born and raised in Queens. My mother is Peruvian. My father is Puerto Rican. I identify myself as a New Yorker, as Puerto Rican, as Peruvian American. Most importantly, I don't forget the fact that I am American. I started dancing at the age of four. I was very shy. My mom put me in, you know, the typical New York dance studio. I enjoyed it. I stayed in the dance studio, and I kept on until I was 13. And I got into the hip hop scene after that. It, I got lured by it, by the music. It was just, just flowing, you know, with life, with New York. I was 16, and I went with my family to Cusco. At that time, my mind was retarded. You know, like I was thinking about boys and looking cute and all these things that have nothing to do with like really appreciating <laughs> where I'm at at the time. I did love it, but I didn't ask enough questions. My family had a last night party and that's when I first saw Afro-Peruvian dance. My cousin Sarela started dancing festejo, all pregnant, shaking it. She was just off the hook, and I couldn't help myself. I was just mesmerized. And when I got back to New York, I began to search for a way to continue that. When I went to Hunter College, I went to study physical therapy, which was something I kind of wanted, but I really wanted to be a dancer. I got kicked out <laughs> from college. <laughs> and it took like five years for me to change my major. I now am a full-time dancer. Modern dance is my most intimate form of expression. I feel like I'm naked when I dance. All this time, ever since I was 16, I was looking for a Peruvian dance outlet here. I kept on coming up short. When I hooked onto the website Soy Andina, the first images of Nelida waving her handkerchief with this prideful look on her face. I knew that I had found something.
she called me after we met Bio Bio. We kept in touch. I saw her perform, and I was like in heaven watching everybody do these traditional dances that I have yet to learn. She was like, let's, let's put something together. Happy that you've taken Thanks. the time to do this for us. <laughs> this is Cynthia. Hi, Cynthia. Very nice to meet you. You are the same. You know, I like it. Thank you. 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 Thank the piece is composed of a fusion between traditional and modern dances, telling the story of someone who lives in a metropolitan area and remembers her traditions from back home. The dance will be performed by two professional dancers, Cynthia Paliagua and Nalita Silva from Peru. It was such a great experience dancing with Cynthia because for the very first time I performed with a modern dancer. Dancing with Nelida was awesome because I was always trained to be so technical and she just flowed. And I really appreciated that. I feel like in a way she has opened a door for me. I applied for the Fulbright to go study folk dance in Peru because folk dance is about how you live and breathe in your environment. And there's no better place to learn than in the actual environment. I was up all night with the application for the Fulbright. So what exactly are you doing? You're getting a grant to do what exactly? I plan on traveling to various parts of Peru, the original sites of the dances. That's cool. Good luck. Good luck. How long is it going to take them to let you know if you get it or not? I should know by January. January. My friend Amparo and Luis Iture, who is my friend since I was in Lima, we decided to found Ballet Folklorico Peru. Since 1991, we've been performing throughout New York and um, 12 different states. Thank you to the Westchester Arts Council for putting together this program and letting us, the Andinos, who live in Westchester County, to share with you our music, dance, and Ingenuaría, uno, dos, tres. 
So when did you get it? I got this. Uh, I found. I saw it this morning. I didn't get it. Now let's read why. Read, yeah? Okay. Read it loud. Uh, okay. Dear Miss Paniagua, I am pleased to inform you that the National Screening Committee of the Institute of International Education has recommended you for a grant under the Fulbright U.S. Student Program. Congratulations on your success. Congratulations. <laughs> Hello? Nelida. Nelida. Hi, it's Cynthia. Me llegó la carta de la beca. Yay. <laughs> Thanks. Now it's time to go to church and thank God. Like a hundred million times. <laughs> oh, we're gonna miss you, sweetheart. I love you. It was the fact that my first experience outside of this country was, was there. Good. And it's gotcha. always been there. When I went to Peru and I was five, like, I remember this like it was yesterday. This is the scary part, you know. It's like, I remember going down there and just... It just, it's inside of you. It's just where I started connecting Peru with family and dance. my family why I was there. Their first reaction was, why are you coming here when we're trying to go over there? And for dance, I'm here working three jobs, I'm trying to get my visa, I'm trying to go over there. What are you doing coming over here? You're swimming upstream, you're going the wrong way. Oh, 
Cerita Mama siapa nama pun pesis. Cerita Syamur Kari. Tu napa? Oh, kamu ni, ni, ni. Kau yang lagi tu. En los Estados Unidos han hecho una actividad, han presentado las costumbres de aquí de nuestra tierra para que ustedes, cada uno, tengan su libro. ¿No tienes tu compañero aquí? ¿Faltó? Te fuiste para adelante. I just want to fit in a little bit. I don't want to stand out, but I have a, a feeling I probably will. <laughs> Open my mouth and I'll stand out, so whatever. <laughs> I found an apartment and this is Maria, so I can start learning how to cook because I'm horrible. Thank God for fried anything. <laughs> Just commuting has been different, but I got used to it, you know. Figuring out which micro to take was a pain in the ass, like seriously. I feel nervous. I don't feel safe because they're always like blabbing how dangerous it is and now you can't even get in a taxi without thinking twice about the, the driver. Yeah, I gotta be like holding on to my stuff. I got lost a couple of times. Where the hell did I come from?
bendiciones a todos. Ana, ah, buena suerte, que la Virgen los bendiga. Meta. Ah, no. Viva Andrés. This is a Peruvian independence festival, so where's the dancing? <laughs> I mean, it's not all about dancing, but I, we're, besides this, there's more to it. It's not about, you know... I, I have a theory about that. When, when the Spanish people came here, they destroyed that angle. Because they say, you are nothing. Most Peruvian people, they are thinking that everything coming from uh, abroad, it's better. So it's quite difficult to teach them that they have the best culture, they have uh, every pre-Inca culture in South America, every So it's enough to be really proud, but they don't know, because the education is the real problem and the government knows. I'd rather have this parade than yeah, the You were against the killing of the bull, right? Of course. Why? Because it's not traditional in Yemen. It's not traditional here. No quiere que mate el toro ese. Limbe. No que que ella vaya al centro y que le quede lo ella. Claro. ¿Por qué está representando? No sé cuál será el motivo. Dice que no quiere que mate el toro. Sí. Eso está mal. Porque es costumbre. Sí. Me llena y no estoy de acuerdo que maten al toro. Someone who's not from Yemen in his student fighting. As a matter of fact, uh, the wife of this person is my friend from my childhood. And she's from Yemen. Yeah. But she's woman, she doesn't have the work. You know, she doesn't have the power because yeah. she's woman. Mm -hmm. So she just has to be quiet. So she just has to be quiet? Of course. Este chivo es con mucho cariño para Nelly, de parte de sus tías Selva, mamá Maggi, de sus primas.
this is a very important event. We exchange the responsibility with the next alferez who's going to be doing the following year. So we handed the baby bread. It was very emotional after I gave the baby bread to the people who's going to be doing the same festivity next year. My father hugged me in such a way that he said, I'm so proud of you. You made it.
I love them. I really do because they were really nice to me. Like after a while, after they got to know me and stopped being shady, they were actually cool with me. But it's amazingly obvious that there's something needs to be done. I hate. I I can't keep my mouth shut. That time, like the backstage of the Chavez brothers, and they changed the step at the last minute. Same shit just happened. I'm like, where have I seen and done this before? Let me get to the point. I'm upset. It's been five months since I've been here in Lima trying to get in touch with the dance aspect of Peruvian folklore. And it turned out to be harder than I thought. I'm not considered as Peruvian here because now I'm this gringa. It's frustrating. How many times do I have to explain to everybody what I am all the time? Right now, I will have to find my way. Me voy de Lima. The change from Yamedin to Lima, it was very radical. It was a sense of not belonging. It was a sense of being an, an outsider. With my siblings and my family, every Sunday, we would look for fiestas from our hometown. When I was about to finish high school, I learned about La Escuela de Jose Maria Arguedas. When I found that school, it was for the very first time that I was feeling comfortable already being in Lima. Cynthia, in Lima, you won't find the taste, el sabor de las fiestas tradicionales y las danzas folclóricas. You should leave Lima and go to pueblitos where the dances are from and experience them for yourself. Dear Nelly, today I went up to Jauja and visited your brother-in-law's friend, Nicolás Martínez. He was like the heart of Jauja. Entonces Jauja tiene varios climas y varios varios niveles, ¿no? De altitud, desde los nevados de Pariacaca, que está más de 5,000 metros sobre el nivel del mar, y por este otro lado del oriente tenemos ceja de selva. Paradito en las esquinas, publicando mi querer, como si fuera delito en la mano. Paradito en las esquinas, publicando mi querer, como si fuera delito en la mano una mujer. Por eso yo siempre digo que en la vida es carnaval, el hombre que ama de veras solicito se hace mal. Por eso yo siempre digo que la vida es carnaval, el hombre que ama de veras son. Buenos días, señor. Buenos días. Buenos días, Cintia. ¿Cómo está? ¿Cómo está el mapa? Vamos a probar el pan de jabón. Acá están los pancitos. Te convidaré a este pan integral, que es el mismo. ¿Qué te parece? Delicioso. Yo quiero porque el en eso, más que nada, porque yo quiero hacer una comparación. 
puede ser una corporación de lo que yo, yo estudié allá con, con acá, pero yo dije, no, es muy, es muy fácil hacer esto, yo quiero algo difícil, yo quiero algo que no conozco para nada. ¿no? Arriving to Puno, I really felt like I've been there before. Dance troops from all over Peru come and celebrate, you know, La Virgen. They get down. Puno is like considered to be the folklore capital of Peru. Weeks and weeks of celebration. It's amazing. With every dance, you could see how it become more modern, the costumes, everything, and, and how it's still traditional and how it's still authentic, you know. But to talk about that, I don't know how to sum that up.
I continued to travel north and try to look for Marinera. I didn't expect to get off the bus and see like people dancing Marinera off the bat, but I didn't expect <laughs> it to be this serious Nancy Drew mystery drama of trying to find the damn thing. I got desperate and I looked into the, the yellow pages and I went to M.A. Mariachi bands for like freaking four pages. I only found two Marinera listings. One of them was El Chino Calderon and his academy. And it was first, so I just called him and I said, <laughs> I'm looking for La Marinera. Like, where is she? Little did I know at the time, Chino turned out to be one of the best, if not the best, Marinera dance teachers in the whole country. Todavía existe. Uno puede sentir amor sin alguien. Todavía oh. puede sentir el sentimiento de amor sin alguien. Y la marinera es una forma de, de expresar sí. eso. Y, y, la, y la marinera es eso. Uh -huh. Es eso. Sí. Por lo menos para mí sí es. Sí. ¿No? Sí, es como... Como que tu piel se eriza. <risa> ah. <risa> <risa> y eso es todo porque me <risa> It was better than trying to dance it in Lima. It felt different. And afterwards, eating chupe de camarones and looking at the, at the ocean and Huanchaco, it's not the same energy. these kids, they were born here, you know. Uh, their parents are Peruvian, and uh, it's so great to see that they're keeping up with the culture. I wanted to learn more, and I wanted to dance tondero. That's where I met Jose Luis Fernandez. He's a specialist in what is tondero. His mother, Selmira Reynaga, is someone who's also a specialist in what is tondero, and you might be very interested in going meeting them. invited me to 
compete in the National Tondero Contest and on January 9th. Bueno, tengo miedo porque no quiero quedar ridículo. Como una chica que solamente se está moviendo como debería ser, pero que no tengo este, ese ritmo o ese swing. Si yo te he convencido y quizás hasta te he rogado para que concurses, es porque muy pocas veces yo personalmente acepto alumnas que o recomiendo o me arriesgo con alguien que sé que no va a responder. ¿no? Pero tú eh, has logrado eh, involucrarte profundamente porque has logrado sentir todo lo que se haga con una pasión fluye y la verdad siempre se abre paso. Si lo, el trabajo es honesto, verdadero y encima tiene amor y pasión, no te preocupes. Lo vas a hacer muy bien porque si eres honesta contigo, vas a ser honesta con todo el mundo. No preocuparte si lo haces bien o lo haces mal, preocuparte que seas tú en el escenario, que seas tú la que estás entregando. Vas a triunfar, no un primer puesto, pero vas a lograr una experiencia que nadie más te la va a dar, nadie. I'm just going to do my thing. If he, if he believes that I'm not going to look ridiculous, I take his word for it. O sea, ¿qué es lo que vas a... ¿Qué pretendes representar ahorita? Vamos, con lo de tondero. Este, la de la Exacto. Este, el trae, el coqueteo, el desafío, sí. Ajá, el desafío. El desafío. Ese juego amoroso. Sí. Juego ¿Ya? Amoroso. Que en realidad es eso lo que vas a hacer. No, 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 estás haciendo marinera. Estás haciendo paso de marinera. Estás corriendo. Tu cara expresa lo que tu cuerpo dice. Tondero has been one of my focuses, being down here. Like, I fell in love with dance again with this one. Los ojos, ¿qué dicen? Eso es. It's from the coast, it's Ajá. from the northern coast of Peru. And uh, it's a dance between a man and a woman. It's like a courtship dance, but it's very sexy, it's very seductive, and um, it's sweet. And what I liked most about everything was the sincerity that I experienced up here, and the warm welcome, you know, that I didn't really get in Lima. Nervous and nervous. <laughs> it's exciting, but as I'm looking at everybody dancing, everybody does a good job. Everybody's in it to win, and I can't be in it to win because that'll drive me nuts. If I just did this to get 500 soles, I knew I wasn't even thinking about prizes when I was like, I know it's to get the prize of like your number one or whatever, but it's a lot about money and these situations, so it's a lot of pressure. If I feel pressure and I'm not even doing it for money, I could just imagine the people that are. But I'll kick some ass. That's about it. <laughs>
Dear Nelly, I can't believe it's been a year that I've been in Peru. I needed to come back to Lima because I missed it. I guess I'm an urban chick after all. <laughs> Hey. 
remember Sarela, my pregnant cousin, shaking it. <laughs> How she taught me Afro-Peruvian steps back in the day. Well, at this party, I found myself teaching her daughter. Coming back to New York City was a culture shock and a half. I didn't understand why people were upset in their lives over petty little dumb crap. Like, the paint is all wrong on the walls. I should have gotten white instead of cream. I mean, I was angry when I was in Lima when I first got there because I was trying to fit in. And now I was frustrated coming back because I felt like I'm just not the same person anymore. Being in New York and dancing with Ballet Folklorico helped me not be so sad and homesick, really. I'm never going to stop going to Peru. It's my heart's home. But now, I'm going from one huge adventure of traveling to Peru to another. Who would have thought? <laughs> Whatever she decides to do, you know she's going to be hearing some huinos and tonderos and marineras and festejos and huailas. <laughs> I mean, I'm still learning from so many people. What I learn, I just want to share it. I want to share it to my daughter. I... It's all about sharing. That's really the whole point, the whole journey. 